This is the book of Exodus, chapter 14, starting at verse 24. And it came to pass in the morning, watch of Yahweh looked, up, looked unto the host of the Egyptians through a through the pillar of fire and, a, and of the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians and took off their chariot wheels that they dragged them heavily so that the Egyptians said, let us flee from the face of Israel for Yahweh fighteth for, the, for them against the Egyptians. And Yahweh said unto Moses, Stretch out thy hand up over the sea, that the waters may come upon the Egyptians, upon the chariots, and upon the horsemen. And Mo Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength, his strength when the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled against it. And Yahweh overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh that came unto the sea after them. There remained not so much as one of them. But the children of Israel walked on the dry land in the midst of the sea. And in the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. Thus, thus Yahweh saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw all the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. I want to say all praises to the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the Apostle Ellis and Prophets of Great Millstone. And no respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. And basically, the title of this lesson is that the deliverance of Israel is on its way. You know, something to that effect. And um, and it's been pressed on my spirit, you know, to uh, bring out this lesson, and um, and you know, just you know, just sitting back, you know, just thinking and meditating, you know, spending time, you know, spending time with the family, you know, spending time my uh my wife's family, you know, her sister them over here in uh, Oklahoma, and you know, I believe it was on the way over here, uh, roughly it's over here. You know, nevertheless, uh, you know, this this uh, title came to my spirit, you know, as I, uh, you know, just said, don't meditate what I should bring out, bring out for this title. I bring uh, the scriptures to bring out to, you know, help help the lesson be edified. And in front, one of the scriptures that came to mind was one I just read, you know, the book of Esther, chapter 14. You know what I'm saying? And when I went ahead and started, you know, verse 24 all the way down to, you know, roughly verse 30. And the reason why that scripture, you know, how uh, brought this, on bring that scripture out first is to give give a comparison, you know, to the uh, uh, Esodus that was performed, you know, by how by Shema al Shai, you know, for our forefathers, you know, that was in uh, Egypt. And, and, you know, in, in to compare it to this Exodus that, uh, we're gonna, that the elect of Israel is gonna experience when Yahweh shall return. And when Yahweh shall return, he's gonna deliver, uh, Israel with a great deliverance. And this, and it's gonna be the, the most talked about, uh, you know, uh, deliverance that there is, man. It's gonna be a great deliverance. And uh, <clears throat> it's not going to, uh, you know what I'm saying? They're going to make the, uh, it's like it's going to make the Esodus of uh, Egypt small in comparison of the Esodus that's going to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, this time frame, you know, the elect of Israel. And it's going to be talked about. And it's going to be talked about in memories forever. And this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 16. You know, verse 15, you know, it reads, you know, I'm, I'm going to start at verse uh, 14. It said, therefore, behold, the days come, said Yahweh, that there should no, it shall no more be said, Yahweh liveth, that brought forth, that brought up, and it's like it, Yahweh, the, the, Yahweh liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But you know, Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north 
and, and from all the lands where the, I, he had driven them, and I will bring them again unto the land that I gave unto their fathers. In verse 15, if you actually study verse 15 in the book of Jeremiah chapter 16, 15 is a very heavy scripture because not only that uh, Yahweh was going to deliver up the elect of Israel, you know, out of uh, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. North America, but he's going to deliver up the elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of the globe. And you have to understand in the no scriptures that came to mind, you know, I'm, I'm going to get it real quick. You know, Salaki, you know, I'm on my other phone. So, uh, you know, give, give me a minute while I bring this, bring this scripture up. You know, this, I want to tend to go this way, but, you know, we want to be obedient, be obedient to the spirit nevertheless, you know. Oh, it's locker for that. You know, just going to bring bring uh, another scripture that came to mind. You know, that I was just, you know, uh, just uh, talking about the how the elect is going to be gathered because the elect is scattered throughout the four corners of the globe, man. You know, you get an understanding of that. That the elect is scattered throughout the four corners of the, of the globe. And this is going to be, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start it. This is Matthew chapter 24. And this is, I'm going to start at verse 30. And this is after, you know, the nuclear missiles being shot, you know, over here in Babylon the Great. I've been shot throughout the world, you know. And, and, and it goes on to say, you know, Matthew chapter 24, verse 30. It said, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the trials of the earth mourn and and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with with power and great glory and he shall send his angels with a great sign of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other and that tells you right there that the elect of israel where all of israel is scattered throughout the four corners of the globe and on it on the people that your house child is going to deliver in that day is going to be the elect because only the elect is going to be saved out of this great tribulation man you know what I'm saying they're going to be beamed up into the chariot and and it's very and it's very strange I ain't say very strange but we know though y'all about Shimmy Al Shah you know that you know you got a lot more chariots signed up here and um uh, you know that I was listening um uh, you know listen to um uh, you know, um, basically, uh, my brother-in-law was talking, you know, we were talking about, uh, you know, he was talking about, you know, seeing the stars and stuff at night. Then, you know, he basically said something about the, uh, you know, he said UFOs, which which I know, you know, Bell, that's not, it's not UFOs, it's IFOs, Identify Found Objects, which are, which is called the Chariots, man. You know, Chariots, you how about Shimmy Al Shah, it's the same vehicles that's going to be used to deliver the elect out of Egypt, just like uh, not out of Egypt, it's like out of out of uh, out of uh, you know the four corners of the globe, you know, from their terrible destruction that's going to be taking place here on Babylon the Great, and the and the chair is going to play a major role, you know, because you how about Shimei Al Shah, you know, he's going to come back in the chariot, you know, what I'm saying it's just like these people don't, uh, you know, what I'm saying they don't get it, you know, they can't wrap their mind around that. Uh, you know, that Yahweh Shah, Yahweh has vehicles. You know, they think they're going to just, you know, a wacky tacky Christian mindset. They're going to just float up out of here, man. But, you know, Yahweh Shah, you know, he got beamed up. You know what I'm saying? And and this is, um, that's chapter 1, verse 9. And it reads, it says, And when they had spoken these things, behold, while they beheld, he was taken up. And a cloud receiving out of their sight. What's that cloud? That cloud is that chariot. You know, uh, look up the lesson, you know, on the GMS search, in, search engine. You know, look in the search engine and put a uh, great millstone chariots. And you got brother did a thousand, for a thousand lessons on it. You know, if you want to understand the chariot, fella, you know, go to their lesson because they done marvelous lessons upon it, man. And I did a few, uh, about like two or three lessons on it myself. But like I say, you know, the brother did a marvelous job on the lesson about the chariot. So go to uh, the Google search engine 
and type in GMS chariots and you're going to have all types of lessons that's going to come up. But continuing on, this is Acts chapter 1 verse 10. He reads, and while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also say, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gaze up to heaven? This same Yahweh, which is taken up, is taken up from you into heaven, shall come in light man as she see him go in heaven, and Yahweh is going to make his grand return, man. And the kids also say, in the book of Jude, he's going to come back. You know, prophesy, he's going to come back with 10,000 of his angels. You know what I'm saying? This is a Jude chapter 1. And and this is a, a, you know, this is a Jude chapter 1 verse 14. And it reads, it said, Enoch, also the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these saying, Behold, Yahweh coming with 10,000 of his saints. Why? To execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed in all of their hard speeches, which the ungodly sinner has spoken against them. And Yahweh Shemi Al Shah is going to come back, man. He's going to come back in the chariot. He's going to deliver the elect to Israel. And also, he's going to be judging the uh, ungodly, you know, the sinners and the ungodly. And it was the sinners. The sinners are, you know, we, we know Esau eat them first and foremost the chief of all sinners and you got the other nation as well as the wicked two thirds. You know, he's going to come back and he's going to judge them with a heavy judgment. And, and he's going to deliver the elect of, uh, uh, elect of Israel out of the time of trouble. Why? Because Israel, you know, is going to need a savior because guess what? We, we don't have no military might and we don't have any power. That's the reason why the book of Zephaniah tells us to wait upon Yahweh. In a day that he shall rise up to the prey, because Scripture says is, is his determination is to gather the nations. And how he's doing that? If you read the book of Jude, not it's like it, Joel chapter three, he says he's gonna guide them down in the valley of Jehoshaphat. You know, he's gonna plead with them there, and mean that he's gonna judge them in that valley of Jehoshaphat, because all the nations gonna be pulled over to the Middle East, and they're gonna fight in World War Three, which is the War of Armageddon. You see. And and why and then why they fighting over there? You know they're gonna be shooting off these nuclear missiles, these uh, ICBM, which we call intercontinental ballistic missiles, and and majority are gonna be shot over here in America, Babylon, the Great. And when these missiles get start flying and getting shot off, you know Yahweh Shem Al Shai is gonna come back. You know Yahweh Shai gonna come back. You know if we read Book of Jude with, with ten thousand of his saints, which are the angels, which they're gonna come back. And they're going to uh, gather up the elect of Israel. And also they're going to be uh, judging, you know, the wicked two-thirds, you know, all the other nations, as well as Esau Edom. You know, Esau Edom chief is going to be judged because uh, Job 9.24 said that the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. And um, you read in Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, you know, uh, uh, Esau is going to come down with great wrath because he... No, he has for a short time, man. And the reason why they build up this space for it, because they know that your house shines on his way. He, they know that he's gonna be on his way, and he's going to deliver of the ele deliver the elect of Israel out of out of the hand of uh of Esau. Because guess what? The scripture tells us that you know if if the if your house don't shorten the days when he comes back, there's no flesh that's gonna be saved. And we're talking about flesh, the flesh that's gonna be saved. We're talking about the elect of Israel. We we know we we know that he's not talking about all all the flesh. He 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 don't talk about his chosen people, which are Israelites. You know, mainly the elect of Israel, even the wicked two thirds, are not gonna be saved out of this punishment. Why? Because you know they refuse to repent and they refuse to turn back to Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, and they refuse to keep his law, statutes, commandments to the best of their ability. And they refuse to acknowledge, you know, their offenses, you know, against you, how about Shem Al Shai. And they refuse to want to correct it. And also because you how about Shem Al Shai is not dealing with them on no level anyway. So that's the reason why, you know, you have a two third that's not going to repent. And they and they're going they're not going to uh you know, they're not gonna be part of that, you know, that uh let they're gonna be delivered out of the uh, the great tribulation, man. 
you know, the leg is going to be delivered, and the, and the, and going to be it's going to be a memorial forever, because it's going to be talked about. It's going to be talked about more than the than the incidents of Egypt, what our forefathers had been through, you know, and how they got delivered, and, and that's a great deliverance, you know, no doubt about that. But this this uh, deliverance here out of the land of Babylon the Great, aka America, is going to be the most spectacular deliverance out of, out of all deliverance man you know even you know we are, our forefathers been delivered out of you no know, great captivity but you know to be delivered out of this captivity you know where you got uh you know you're gonna have jacob trouble you're gonna have 5g technology the mark of the beast which the rfid chip you're gonna have famines and pestilence and and wars you're gonna have all types of hell that's gonna be break gonna be breaking uh throughout the world man it's gonna be all types of hell that's gonna be going on but in the, in in it when the things are, are at its very lowest point you know in the midst of being shot off you're gonna see that your house shot is gonna return and like i said he's gonna come back with uh ten thousand of, of his uh saints which are angels which it's a new a numerous number and they're gonna gather up the elect and they're gonna uh de you know they're gonna destroy all the wicked man you know they're gonna be uh you know delivering the lead you know and grinding the wicked to powder man and and he, and they and they're gonna be the greatest deliverance of all times man even all the words that i'm trying to you know you know do spirit trying to put put together it's not it, it's gonna be spectacular uh beyond what i could comprehend man you see, because this deliverance is going to be a very, very marvelous deliverance. And Yahweh Bashim al Shah is going to deliver his, uh, you know, his elect, you know, out of all this, man. He's going to deliver his elect out of all this. He's going to, you know, he's going he's gonna to deliver his elect, man. You know, that's the reason why the scripture tells us, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get it. It said, you know, and we we'll get it real quick, but yeah, you know that's really why we shouldn't fear because he's gonna deliver us. Out of, you know, he's gonna deliver uh, us out of all things, man. You know that's the reason why we got to uh, you know have faith and trust in y'all about Shema Al Shai because it's gonna be a great deliverance. You know what I'm saying? It, it's gonna be a great deliverance. You know, so lucky for that, you know. It's, it's a lot of meat in this scripture that I'm looking at, you know, so lucky. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and read uh, Isaiah chapter uh, 41, and this is uh, starting at verse 8. You know, it reads, But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee in the right in the right of right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that was incest against thee shall be ashamed and confounded, and they shall be as nothing, and they shall strive with and they that strive with thee shall perish, and we understand and, and when we get you know that. So I could Yeah, yeah, that you know being you know, when they let get delivered. You know, all those that, you know, came up against the elect men of Israel, is going to be a shame and confounding. And those scripture that came to mind, you know, it's, uh, you know, I get in the minutes, it's, it's wisdom of Solomon chapter 5. But, you know, all these nations, they're going to strive against Israel, you know. They're going to strive against the elect men of Israel. And that's when they're going to be a shame and confounding. And that's when they're going to be destroyed. Because Isaiah 59 and 19 tells us that when the enemy comes in like a flood, that the spirit of Yahweh Shem outside is going to lift up a standard against him. 
And and that's the reason why we need Yahweh by the Sea of to come and deliver us because we have no power in our hand to, to deliver ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? We got put under a curse and we, and we start, and you know what I'm saying? We had to serve the other nations because of we fell short uh, of the glory of Yahweh by the Sea of because we served other gods and we provoked it. It's like we provoked him to anger. That read why you how about streaming outside delivered us up to you know these you know these other nations and these other nations the only on thing they had did to his chosen people is suppressed us and 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 uh and put hell upon us and that's the reason why we ought to have y'all about streaming outside man to come back and to deliver us out of out of all these things because guess what we we had no we had no help man. The only help that we can depend on is Yahweh by Shem Shah because the other nations, you know what I'm saying, these other nations, they they uh they don't care about us anyway. And it's gonna be and the delivery is gonna be great because it's gonna be the first time ever in a long time that our people, you know, you know, Israel is gonna be free. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be back on top, you know, first time in a long time, man. You know what I'm saying? Is that we're gonna, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna be, uh, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna be back on top because, you know, we have been at the bottom for so long. You know, our people mindset is destroyed because in their mind, they, they can't fathom and they can't, they can't fathom the fact that they're gonna be on top. That's really why you got a lot of, uh, you got a lot of our people, they bulk up against the scriptures and they say there's no way that we can be on top. But guess what? You how about Shem Al Shah is gonna save his people with a great deliverance. And 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 I believe that he is, man. And he's gonna save the elect of Israel, you know, with a great deliverance. And then when two thirds come back in the kingdom, you know what I'm saying, they're gonna be told that that uh that uh Yahweh saved us, man. He gonna he saved us with a marvelous deliverance, you know, praying that we are the elect of Israel. Because we don't know who the elect is. We know they are Israel, but we we can't individually say that oh I'm the elect, I'm part of the elect. No, we're praying that we're part of the elect because Second Peter chapter one verse ten tells us to make our calling in election sure. Because we don't know that we're part of the elect. We don't know that we're gonna be delivered. You know what I'm saying? We don't know that. But we have to put our trust and faith in y'all by shame out shot and we have to go out and do the work. We got to, uh, you know, what I'm saying we got, like I said, we got to make our calling and election sure, because we want to be great, uh, delivered. You know, it's in the hand of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. You know, what I'm saying we pray that He had mercy upon us, that we are part of the elect, man, that we find ourselves doing the work, and we find ourselves doing those things which are pleasing unto Him, because we know that this deliverance out of Babylon the Great is going to be the greatest deliverance of all time, man. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be the greatest deliverance ever in recorded history because it's going to send around people that didn't, that don't have any power, man. And that they, they rock with this y'all about Shem Al Shah came back to deliver them. You know, talking about the elect of Israel because all hell is going to be breaking loose throughout the planet. You're going to have, you're going to have famines. Like I said, you're going to have earthquakes. You're going to have, you know, the white man, uh, Esau, Edom coming down with great wrath. You are gonna have, um, you gonna have our people be turning on one another. You are gonna have missiles that's gonna be shot over here. You are gonna have all types of wickedness that gonna see the pollute the earth. You are gonna have our people that's gonna be uh, getting slaughtered. You know what I'm saying? It, it's gonna be all types of hell that's gonna be breaking forth and breaking loose here on the earth, man. But it's only gonna be the a hand of Yah by Shem Al Shad that's going to deliver us. You know what I'm saying? He's going to deliver us out of all these things, out of, out of the hand of the wicked, out of all those that, that fought against, you know, his chosen people. You know what I'm saying? He's going to deliver. He's going to deliver. It's going to be the greatest deliverance ever. And this is uh, Isaiah 41 and, and verse 13. It said, For I, Yahweh, thy power will hold thy right hand and say unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thy worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, said our power, and the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. And he's going to deliver us in that day, man. It's going to be a great deliverance. Because guess what? It's, you know what I'm saying? 
because uh, we we need a savior, man. We need your house, y'all, to come back and deliver us out of this hell hole, man. You know what I'm saying? Deliver us out of uh, all this uh, wickedness and all all this unbelief, and all the, all this unrighteousness that we see upon the earth, especially among our people, man. Because our people don't believe that we're gonna be it's gonna be a great deliverance. Our people don't believe that we're gonna be uh, delivered up out of here because our people, only thing that they can see is that uh is that um well this is all this is all that they know man they 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 don't believe that we're going to be delivered up out here they don't believe that we you know you have about shimmy outside is going to make a memorial out of this they you know what I'm saying if we read i'm gonna go back to the scripture it said this is uh jeremiah chapter 16 verse 14 it reads therefore be holy days come say our power that 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 it shall be no more said that the Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. And what's the land of the north? Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. You know, because the scripture tells us that all 12 tribes are going to be oppressed together. And, and what all 12 tribes oppressed that together at? Over here in America, Babylon the Great. You see? And said from all the lands whether he had driven them, and we got to understand that our people got scattered throughout the four corners of the globe. It's read in Isaiah chapter twenty-four, not Salak in Matthew chapter twenty-four. You know, around you know roughly around verse thirty through thirty-two tells us that that he's going to gather us from the four four uh, winds of heaven. You know, from one end of from the four corners, from one end of heaven to the other. You know, cause our people got scattered throughout the four corners of the globe, man. You know, because that was part of the curse that he, that we were gonna be scattered to uh to uh, uh different lands, man. You know, roughly paraphrasing, we are scattered throughout the four corners of the globe. And you how about Shimon Al Shah is gonna gather us. He's gonna he's gonna gather the elect of Israel and they're gonna deliver them from from the uh destruction that's gonna come here upon the earth. How he's gonna do that? He's gonna do that by via chariot, man. You know, which you know the world in we call UFOs, but we know they are the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, and those same chariots that they fought, you know, fought with our forefathers in Egypt. You know, what I'm saying that that uh, you know, was a pit of uh, fire by night, was well, a, cl a cloud by day and a pit of fire by night. You know, that's them, them same chariots are going to be one that's going to deliver us. Out, out of uh, out of the land of the north, man, out of North America, out of all the countries that we've been, our, our people been scouted in. I'm mainly talking about the elect of Israel. They're gonna be, they're gonna be delivered, and we praying that we are of that number, man. That we, you know we be found worthy to be delivered. You know, out of all these things, we'll continue on with the scripture. It said, and I will bring them again into the land which I gave to their father. What's that land? That land is the land of Israel. You know, that's going to be after the fact that your house is going to gather up the elect and he's going to be, you know, he's going to allow the missiles to, you know, to uh, destroy all the wicked, man. They're going to destroy all the wicked. Well, you know, at least the ones that have been hiding on the ground, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be gathering in the, and they're going to be first fruits and slavery man as well as those that are that are not of israel they're gonna be gathered to be you know be uh be slaves man you know but the two-thirds are going to be destroyed because uh you know because they don't believe they're going to be reborn in the kingdom but you know the, you know this is uh you know this is a great thing because guess what you have about shame out is coming soon and and for those who are just waking up in truth you know, saying you got cases of uh, you know, more chariot sightings, you know, going on throughout the globe, and the chariots are making themselves more and more obvious. You know, and you know, you got people saying that they UFOs, but we know that they are chariots. And those who are waking up, just waking up in truth, understand that the chariots are going to be the ones that's going to de going to deliver us. You know, what I'm saying out out of the uh, uh out of the destruction that's going to come upon you know mainly Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, but it's going to be also throughout the four corners of the globe. America is going to get the hit the hardest because uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 7 said, Babylon has been a golden cup in your house hand. 
you know, he's going to pour out his fierce indignation upon this place. Because, yeah, what? You're going to advance his prophets and holy apostles here on Babylon the Great. You can read that in Revelation chapter 18, verse 20. You know, he's going to advance his uh, prophets upon Babylon the Great because they're back here today. And he also, he's going to deliver them out of that time, man. He's going to deliver them out of the hands of the enemy, man. And he's going to, to deliver them, you know, out of out of the hands of our enemies, all our captives, the headless captives, and, and refuse to let us go. We're going to be delivered out of there. You know, there's going to be a great deliverance. And, and all the people that laughed and scoffed and mocked, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you're going to see it with your own eyes, but you know, especially the, the two-thirds of Israel, they, they are going to be able to go. So... I'm going to get this last scripture and pray that this lesson be edified, believers. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Simple may, may no account. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to, uh, we're going to, um, visit, uh, Wilson of Solomon. Wisdom Solomon is going to help him. Here it is. We're going to go ahead and start with Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5. And we're going to start at verse 1. You know, very familiar scripture. He said, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the, fa before the face that of such as afflicted to him and made no account of his labor. And, you know, the righteous man is going to, he's talking about the elect, you know, one to stand on highway by way he's teaching. The true gospel of Yah about Shem Al Shah. You know what I'm saying? We know there's false prophets out there. They stay on the highways and byways too. But you know what I'm saying? They're not teaching the true gospel. They're talking about the ones that are teaching in truth and sincerity. You know, the elect of Israel. But continuing on, it said, you know, all the people, you know, laugh at, you know, men and the Lord because they bring out scriptures like this, you know, telling our people to repent and telling uh, about the judgment of this place. And, and you got, uh, you know, these people that don't believe it, they don't believe that this place is going to be judged and they don't believe that they, uh, they're going to, you know, they don't believe that the that Israel is going to be delivered out of this. But continuing on, it said when they, when they said, us lock it, uh, wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness, strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all the that they look for, you know, they're going to be, they're going to be terrified because guess you know what? It's going to be a great deliverance. You know, like I said, it's going to be a deliverance of the elect of Israel and, and these other nations and where the wicked, the wicked two third Israel is going to be terrified, you know, because why? Because, you know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? They, they didn't believe that, that Yahweh Ba Shem Al Shai is going to deliver his people. Well, the elect of Israel and the two thirds really going to be shame faced. Why? Because, why? Because of, um, cause they're going to realize that there has been a prophet among them that, that warned them and told them that these things were going to happen, but they didn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? And also, y'all by Shimmy outside haven't chosen them anyway. So that's the reason why they, they're not going to believe it. That's going to be a great deliverance. They ain't going to believe it, even though you can show them through the scriptures. They still won't believe it. Why? Because y'all about shimmering, y'all shot blind their minds that they're not going to be able to get it. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to be able to be, you know, delivered. You know, especially, you know, for those who wake up in truth, even though you can, you know, win to your family members to they blue in the face. Well, you how about shimmering, how shot don't want them to get it. Guess what? They're not going to get it. They're not going to believe it because this is the only thing that they look forward to is this Babylon the Great. And that's reason why you got a lot of these people. You know, especially our people praying for this society, and the society is not going to be saved. You know, that's in Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 8 through 9. You know what I'm saying? Babylon is not going to be healed, man. And these other nations not going to be healed either. You know what I'm saying? They're they going to go down with Babylon the great, you know. You know, they're going to they gonna be put in slavery too. But, you know, nevertheless, you know, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, verse 3. It said, they repent and, gro and groaning for anguish of spirits shall say within themselves, this will he whom we have sometimes in derision and proverb of reproach. 
We fools are counting his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he number among the children of Yahweh and his law is among the saints? And and that's what a lot of these people want to say. How are these these same people that were standing on the highways, byways, teaching and cussing, you know, quote unquote cussing, you know, us out saying that Babylon, America, Babylon, the great is going to be destroyed and, and telling wicked two thirds Israel to repent. You know, in the same two thirds of the lab and scholars, they were like, how in the world that these these people got numbered, man? And these same people that were cussing them out, they be looking stupid. You know what I'm saying? Because they they didn't believe that that they were gonna be delivered. That that, that those eleven men were gonna be delivered. You see, and and they gonna be looking dumb because the great deliverance is is back pretty much on its way. You see, and, and and a lot of people they're not gonna be able to go because you know what they they too busy. They were talking all that uh that that nonsense, man. They were talk they were talking that nonsense, and they didn't believe that uh that uh the elect is gonna be delivered. And let me get one more scripture. You know the scripture that came in mind. You know as I was, you know just you know doing that lesson. Isn't it gonna be uh this is going to be the last scripture in your high will that this lesson being edified. And this is uh, Daniel chapter 12. And it's starting in verse 1, a very uh, um, very familiar scripture. And this is also this is an end time prophecy that hasn't came yet. And uh, this is also going to be part of that great deliverance. And it reads, at, at that time, you know, at what time? The time of Jacob's trouble. You know, it's going to get real bad out here. You know, read again, it said, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standing up for the children of thy people, which are Israelites, and they shall be there and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation there was a nation even to that same to that same time. And that and at that time thy people shall be delivered. Everyone would Everyone that shall be found written in the book, and what they're talking about, they're talking about the elect of Israel. You know, because Romans 9 6 said, Not all of Israel that's going to be of Israel, because not all of Israel is going to be delivered. You know, people that are going to be delivered out of this great tribulation, which is Jacob's trouble, is going to be the elect of Israel. You know what I'm saying? That's who's going to be delivered, everybody else is going to be destroyed. You see, that, that's what this is talking about. Now, verse 2, it says, Many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to, to shame and everlasting contempt. And you're going to, in those people, you got people that woke, uh, woke up and they know they're Israelites, but they only woke up to be judged and to be condemned. But you're going to have the elect of Israel that won't let they know they're Israelite. They wake up, they, they're going to be delivered, you see. They're going to be delivered, and they're going to be a great deliverance. You know, for for the elect of Israel, those who are going to wake up to everlasting life, and and the other two third Israel who know that they are Israelites, they're going to be they're going to be a judge, man, because because that's the way Yahweh Shem out I want it to be. And in this day in chapter twelve verse three, and said, and they and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, firmament. And they that turn men to righteous, righteousness as you saw forever and ever, it's talking about the death of Israel, the ones that are on the highways, byways, teaching it, and and uh, <clears throat> and basically tell, telling our people to repent and, and keeping the law, statute, commandments to the best of their ability, and they follow the Lamb, which is your house, shall wheresoever he go, man. You can say wheresoever, wheresoever that. Uh, that the lamb will go, guess what? They follow him, you know, and they and they they're not ashamed of Yahweh by shame outside. And then when Yahweh shall returns back and, and to deliver his elect, you know what I'm saying, they they're gonna be able to, you know, boast boast about, you know, how Yahweh shall deliver them when a missile was coming down, they thought they there was no hope and them chariots came and whisked them away in the last second. You know, they gonna be able to tell that story. They're gonna be able to you know, tell tell that tell that uh that uh that legend that you how Bashim outside delivered them, man. And it's gonna be a great deliverance. Even though that the whole earth they don't believe it, guess what? The elect is 
gonna believe it and and they're gonna be delivered man and and that's it for a lesson you know this is i hope that the lesson will edify unto the the elect of israel because you know what our deliverance is uh, you have, is on the way that you have by shimmy house shy is going to come back and he's going to, to deliver of the elect of israel and the other nations are going to be ashamed and they're going to be destroyed as well as the wicked two-third Israelites that refuse to repent and refuse to come back to their power, man. And they're going and they're gonna see that great deliverance. And you know, that shame is gonna overtake them. You know, and that's it for a lesson. Wanna give all praise, glory, and honor due unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Bakakadash. Double honors to the apostle and else a great millstone. And I respect to the brush teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. See you again with another lesson real soon. You're how willing. Shalom.